introducing yourself, telling us um, what your role is and which country you work in. I'm Dr. Mohamed Lamarana Bari. I'm the Acting Deputy Director of Livestock. I work in the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Food Security in, the, in Sierra Leone. These last two days have been focused around the run health approach. Could you sort of give your views on why you think the one health approach is so important? Yeah, it is important in the sense that it enables people to work together, different stakeholders, and through that you can save resources, save time, and get uh, results quickly, and also uh, intervene in terms of uh, disease outbreak and control them easily, I mean, quickly. Yeah. Great. So, um, coming from West Africa and um, having interacted in this One Health incubator, can you tell me a bit about um, your experience, how you found it, interacting with other countries and what key learnings you'll take away from the incubator? In the first place, I come to realize that we have a common problem. That's very interesting to know. Two, uh, through this experience sharing, I've come to know more about the situations in other countries, which I will take home and uh, see how we can introduce them or implement them. Yeah. So you said that you're going to take some, some learnings back home. Could you give me an example or two about what specific things you might implement back in Sierra Leone as a result of this incubator? Um, one of the first things is to do a stakeholder analysis, understanding, and then see how best we can come together and harmonize all our different uh, plan of action and then policies and then in all the strategic communication, information and coordination, all that has to be harmonized so that we work uh, effectively. Um, I understand that you're one of only three vets in Sierra Leone and um, having such a kind of low human resource in that sector, can you tell me how that impacts on working with human health and how you interact with human health? Well, in the first place, during the outbreak of the avian influenza, we had a technical committee which involved all stakeholders, including the Minister of Health, specifically the Disease Prevention and Control Unit. Mm -hmm. So we worked together, and that has served as a piece, a catalyst for us to work together. That is why during the pilot phase of the One Health project, we didn't find it hard to work with them because already we have structures in place in, from top level to the field. So we just activated the technical committee at the district level and then we worked closely. So it is in the same principle that we are going to work under this one. And um, that you have been involved in um, different fora discussing about the development of a uh, West African network causes heavily involved in um, supporting that process. Um, can you tell me a little bit about um, who you've engaged, what stage you're at, and why you feel the development of a network in West Africa is so important? Yeah. Initially, each country was doing its own bit, <coughs> independent of the other. So during the outbreak of uh, avian influenza, FAO thought it fit that they should bring, for example, all the laboratory networks, I mean all the laboratories in different countries into one network. So we had the Central African Laboratory Networks and the West African uh, Countries Laboratory Networks. And then they also created the Episurveillance Unit for the two uh, regions. 
in that way they were able to uh, conduct capacity development in terms of training, providing logistics and also technical backstopping for the different laboratories. They also were able to identify two regional labs as reference laboratory, which um, their role being to one, support the smaller labs and secondly, to how they support in terms of training and provision of uh, re uh, diagnostic reagents for these smaller labs. And also to assist in diagnosing or confirming laboratory tests that have been done in uh, specific countries. So rather than dispatching these samples to Europe, which is expensive mm -hmm. and sometimes when airlines don't accept the samples. So that's one. Two, later they decided to form a network of CVOs so that whatever policy comes out of ECOWAS will be harmoniously implemented in the different countries. And just last week, the, CV, the network of animal production officers was also established. All this is to ensure that ECOWAS, through the member countries, will be able to implement its uh, agricultural policy that was established. Great. I mean, there's been a lot of media coverage around the development of a vaccine for Ebola. Um, a lot of people see it as a silver bullet. I just wanted to get your views about how useful the Ebola vaccine is and practically how uh, easy is it to, to kind of disseminate amongst the population and how you think it fits into a wider strategy of public well, health? Really, I'm not a Minister of Health person. Mm -hmm. We are not involved, so I cannot comment on